Hello my favorite caterpillars and today I am doing a drugstore haul which basically consists of the things that I bought from Walmart and um, winners <laughs> because as we all know I am obsessed with winners I go there very often quite frequently and I have been kind of bad this month and I have bought a few things from there so let's get into let's start with the things that I got from um, winners. I went there on a couple trips this month and I've got a few things so um, let's dive into the few goodies that I got. These were not all purchased in one trip together, one shot. I did do it a couple times. Um, one again was with Sam, uh, my best friend. I went and we did a little shopping and I found some really good goodies so let's get into that. Let's start off with the makeup items that I found there. I found this Too Faced Cat Eyes um, palette for $16.99, I believe. It was untouched. I have used it. That's why it like looks a little like this. But um, I think it was really amazing. There's some really pretty colors. Unfortunately, there's no mirror in this. But it does kind of tell you what eye looks you can get from this thing, which is kind of cool. And I think it's a really small... Um, nice compact palette and it's got some a few really pretty shades in there um, Panther I think is all matte I could be wrong though but I may not use jungle love we'll see um, but I love all the other colors kitty glitter I'm not sure how often I'll use is that a blue or is it a silver oh, I think it's a silver okay so I think I could get a lot of use of this palette I have I have this actually this kitty um, kitten on my eyes today. They have the day look, the classic, and a fashion look on either side, which I think is kind of cool. But I was really surprised to see um, this Too Faced Cat Eyes eyeshadow palette, and it was untouched. And I was like, oh my god, yes, you're coming home with me. You, you know, I'll use you. You look amazing. I love you. Let's get you. Um, I actually found a couple Too Faced things, and again, these are both untouched. Um, so I found a Too Faced Melted, um, is this Too Faced Melted? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Um, in the color Melted Marshmallow, it's the pink one. Again, this one was untouched. It's supposed to be this, well not this. Bling Color Jolts are supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced um, Melted lipsticks. So we shall see, I mean heard a lot of rumors that the Iris dupes they um, pretty much have the same applicator but this one is supposed to be like $20 and this one's like much cheaper so yeah they basically have the same this one's used this one's not um, size but I'm really excited to use this because it's in a really pretty shade I will definitely get a lot of use of this it's a liquefied long wearing lipstick in the Too Faced Melted Marshmallow, so that's really exciting. And then I also got, uh, found the Too Faced La Matte Color Drench Matte Lipstick in the color Pitch Perfect. Um, it's a really pretty purple color. I wore it the other day, so that's why it's a little gross, <laughs> because I did actually wear it, but I can swatch this one for you. I just didn't want to swatch the other one because I didn't want to touch it yet. That's what it looks like. It's a very pretty purple shade. Um, I was kind of hoping it for like the color here and on the box. It makes it look like it's a dark plum purple color. And I was like, oh my god, that's going to be so pretty. But then it comes out to be more of a lighter pink, or lighter purple color. But it's still really pretty. And this one again was $7.99. So that was really exciting to find those three Too Faced things there. They also had some Tanya Burr cosmetics, which I love Tanya Burr. Uh, if you don't know who she is, she's a YouTuber that is made um, from England that's made um, here with a cosmetic line or a, a makeup line. And they had a couple of her products, but there wasn't anything that I really wanted of hers. So I was kind of disappointed, but really excited to see that. I was also really excited to see that they actually had Too Faced stuff and that some of them weren't actually touched. It was very Cool. All the makeup items that I got, but I did pick up two nail polishes um, by OPI um, for $6.99. Um, this was Aurora Berry Alice. Get it? And then this one is in Barefoot in Barcelona, and I'm wearing Barefoot in Barcelona right now, so that's what that looks like. But really pretty colors. I had I wore this one, and then I just took it off my nails today. And so videos that you would have saw this nail polish coloring which probably my last couple videos that have gone up um, really pretty colors for 
fall and winter i think so gorgeous i love these ones so excited to find those i think they're really pretty i picked up some shampoo while i was there this was in the clearance section it's the coconut milk nourishing shampoo with the extra virgin coconut oil um, by ren professionals i do have a review of this i'll link it down below i thought this was the one that i picked up before and i was like it's in the clearance section for seven dollars instead of 9.99 i'll totally pick this up but it wasn't but i'm okay with that because it's still like a is a nourishing shampoo so it should still help with my dry thirsty hair this is the stuff that I normally pick up but I thought I they didn't make this shampoo of this so I thought that's what I got was these two last time but just in this small size but since I go through my conditioner so quickly I thought I'd pick up this coconut water hydrating conditioner from the Ren Pure Cosmetics um Brent Cure Professionals, not cosmetics. Um, so this is a one liter thing of shampoo. And this one is um, 16 fluids ounce, 473 ml bottle of shampoo. So maybe this will actually serve me at the same time because I go through conditioner like crazy. Plus this is amazing for my dry, very thirsty hair. I love this shampoo. Um, I think it's amazing. I also picked up a hair mask from them. This was again in the clearance section. It was for $8 and it was originally $9.99. Uh, $9 um, this is the Ren Pure Coconut Cream Deep Treatment um, Mask or Mascou. It says Masque. Mascou. It's in French. It's mask. It says it has zero sulfate, sodium chloride, dyes, harsh salts, parabens, and gluten. And this is a, almost a four, 354 milliliter, 12 fluid ounce. Um, deep conditioning. I love stuff like this and since I've never actually tried this um, deep conditioning mask because I didn't even know they made one but when I saw it and I love their shampoo so much I was like I'll give this a try because their shampoo does wonders for my hair. I also picked up the Skin Labs Lift and Firm with Vitamin C Treatment Serum. It's got hyaluronic collagen and elastic hydration. Hydrate to firm and tone the skin. Um, I really like the I really like the Lift and Firm brand, I think, the, or the Skin Lab. I have tried their face mask by them, and I really enjoyed it. And so I thought I'd pick up the serum. This was a little bit more expensive than I wanted to spend than I usually spend on a serum, but I really wanted to try it because I really love their face masks, and it was for twelve ninety nine. Um, so yeah, plus I go through serums like crazy, so I'll use it up anyways. So. Picked up another serum. Um, this is the. Valgen Labs Hydrate, which has got hyaluronic acid plus vitamin B5 face serum, and it was for $9.99. It's also cruelty free, which I really like. And yeah, I have dry combo skin, so I like to put hyaluronic acid on my face to try to help hydrate my skin. I picked up these face masks, or not face masks, sheet masks. They were in the clearance section for $5. And these are originally $6.99. It's the Creme Shop Drink Up Skin Moisturizing Hyaluronic Acid. I did be wear this in my 30 days of face mask, which will either be up now or going up shortly, either before or after this video goes up. But I thought $5 for a hydrating face mask, a uh, sheet mask. I really love sheet masks, especially hydrating ones. It was really nice. It was cute. It's got a penguin on it, so I had quite fun wearing that. Then... The next time I went in there, I found something and I was completely over the moon excited about this because I said next time I see this, I'm going to pick it up. And it's the Dr. Brandt Oxygen Facial Flash Recovery Mask. It's supposed to revitalize. We're filming it at all, so. So, um, sorry if the, I know the angle changed. I realized I was like not really fully in the shot and then I also realized that uh, my camera stopped recording on me so <laughs> that's fun so let's pick up where I left off which the next thing I picked up was I told myself if I saw this again I would pick it up so I did and it's the Dr. Brandt Oxygen Facial Flash Recovery Mask it's supposed to revitalize hydrate and boost radiance it was $20 and normally um at sephora if you spend it by this it's 85 dollars so i was like this is a great deal and um it kind of looks like a little pill vial thing but i will definitely be doing a review of this um 
when I use it because I want to know if this works. So I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Also, I found, um, I bought these at the same time, but it was the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Deep Hydrating Cleanser. It's the Mud to Foam one. This was $20. The girl, when I was checking out, she was like, that's a great deal for both of them. I was like, yeah, I know, right? Because this, I'm pretty sure, is $40 um, Canadian anyways. So, and it's, since it's a hydrating um, face mask, do I have anything? Oh, my God, go to it. Um, since it's a hydrating uh, cleanser, I thought this would be great for my combo skin. And I'm super excited to try this one. I haven't tried the green one that I bought from them, but I just couldn't pass this up because Glam Glow is amazing. Um, they have really great face masks and yeah, and it's hydrating. I love their hydrating mask, the Thirsty Mud mask. Um, the one, the mask of this, so I thought the cleanser would be great too. Um, I also picked up the Bi Phase Tone Gentle Toning Lotion with rose water. This one is a giant bottle. It's a 500 milliliter um, toner bottle. And remember the toners I buy are like 200 milliliters for about the same price. This was $9.99, so $10. Normally they come anywhere between $8 and $9, the toners I buy. Um, so this is really exciting to get a 500 ml one. So I get 300 mils basically for the price of what I pay for a 200 ml bottle one. So hopefully the rose water doesn't um, bother my skin. But... I'm really excited to use this because it's a giant bottle. So, excuse me, of toner. I'm burping. Now on to the less non two makeup items that I got from Winners, which I'm still really excited about. It's this glass water bottle. It was in clearance for ten dollars. It's Bino Bino glass bottle. It's a 650 milliliter bottle, 22 liter, 22 ounces. It's BPA free, secure silicone grip, and it says a wide mouth opening, which I really liked. Um, the wide mouth because I like to put ice in the bottom of my water bottles. So I'm super excited to use this. Plus glass water bottles are supposed to be better for you because they don't have the plastic in it. And yeah, it's got this cute little grip and I just thought it was super cute. So I picked that up because my other water bottle that I use now has like um, calcium deposits on the bottom and it's just kind of getting gross and I just really like that one. Plus I picked up a new nylon braided um, USB cable for my phone charger. It looks like this. Um, I think it's a 10 feet one did I get? 6 feet. This is a 6 feet one. Um, it was for $7.99 because my phone charger that I have right now, it only charges it if it's bent like a certain way and so it's kind of annoying so I think it's going to die on me soon. So I picked up this one for $7.99 at Winners, um, a 6 foot cable for my Samsung phone so yeah I'm super excited about that. Now on to the two things that I got from the, that's everything I got from Winners. So, yeah. On to the two things that I got from the dollar store. I picked up more cotton rounds. I got the small ones um, and the big ones. So these ones are 50 and these are 100 and I got two packs of these because I just needed more so I picked up some more of those. Um, on to the stuff that I got from Walmart. So I picked up this Nivea body wash, care, and cashmere. It says cashmere extract with orchid scent. This stuff smells amazing. I really like Nivea's body lotion. They lather really well. They do a really good job. And it just smelled really nice. And so it was on sale, so I picked that up. I also thought I would try this Pantene Pro-V um, moisturizing misty tangler. Um, I really love the mane and tail detangler, but this one was a little cheaper, so I thought I would try this guy and see if I liked it or not. If not, I'll just go back to my mane and tail. Um, this one's just a little bit more easier to find than the mane and tail one. The mane and tail one I can only find in a certain um, shopper's drug mart that is sold in where I'm going to school, and the mane and tail, otherwise I have to find it online, and so it was, it's a little cheaper in the store than online. Um, but the Pantene one is a little bit more readily available because Walmart sells it and it's in a lot more Walmarts than not. So, yeah. 
I also picked up the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water with Argan Oil. It was sitting upside down, so that's why it's separated. But I love the Garnier stuff. I heard that this one's really good. Um, it says it's a long wear makeup. It says a 400 milliliter bottle equals 200 uses. I really like using this to take off my eye makeup. I just put it on a giant cotton pad, put it over my eyes for 10 to 15 seconds, and wipe. And basically, my eye makeup is all removed, and there's no rubbing. And I really like that fact. So I picked up this because I wanted to try it, see what it was like. I also um, picked up the L'Oreal Pure Clay Argyle Pure um, Mask. I think this one is the hydrating. One, I've used it once, it was really nice. It's the blue one. This was the newer version of the other one. So, um, my boyfriend's mother gave this to me, which I was very excited about. She said she didn't want it, so I don't know if she got it with like a gift with purchase or something because she loves Clinique as well. Um, or if one of her friends gave it to her and she just didn't, she was like, oh sure, I'll give it to Jenna because she didn't want it. Which I was very surprised. I'm like, there's double things in here. Like, are you sure you don't want some of this stuff? And she's like, no, no, you can have it. And I was like, okay, thank you. Um, so there's some really good goodies in here. They There's two of the Clinique Dramatically Different Plus Moisturizing Lotion for very dry to dry combination, which is what I have. I have combo skin. I'm very oily in my t-zone but very dry in my cheeks so I like to really hydrate my skin because my skin is overcompensating for the dryness very producing oil so moisturizer is really nice I am excited to try this stuff I'll put this in like a little my travel bag so I can have these as travel moisturizers um, which I really haven't yet to try them but I'm really excited as well with these ones um, this is the Clinique Moisture Surf, Mer Surge Extended Thirst Relief gel cream um, moisturizer and I'm super excited to try these guys soon because um, I have another two samples of these I'm super excited to try those bad boys out um, I got two of these Clinique Happy perfume samples and I don't know what's I don't know if it's just Clinique Happy but this smells really nice and I do really like them and yeah so I'm going to keep those. Um, it came with two Clinique plus Jonathan Aldair, Aldair, Aldailer, um, little found compacts. Um, the last one she gave to me, I have another one of these. So I'm giving one of these to my friend and I'm keeping one because I don't need two um, quads of the exact same one that I already have. So this one is 01 Like Mink and then the blush is 07 Sunset Glow. So I already have this one so I'm passing this one along to my friend and she is super excited about it. And then I'm keeping this one which is 03 Morning Java and then 1C Foxy and 08 Cupid is the blush. And let's upside. The eyeshadow just fell out of there. <laughs> but at least it fell out all together, so it didn't shatter everywhere. So there's that. Really pretty blush and really pretty eyeshadow too. I'm super excited to try that. My battery keeps my camera keeps turning off, so I'm sorry if I get cut off halfway through. Um, which is very frustrating. I don't know why it keeps does it doing that. I don't know if the battery's dying or whatnot, but anywho. Um, this one time was exciting because the other two times I've gotten this, or the last time I got this, it was the Chubby Lash one, which I already had a sample of, which I'm super excited to try anyways, but um, I'm just excited to have a different um, Clinique um, mascara, which I've got brown eyeshadow all over my hands, so I'm trying not to get it on my face, but I got the sample, it's a Luxi sample of the Clinique High Impact Mascara. They're both in 01 black, which I'm super excited because I like having deluxe size samples of mascara as opposed to the full size because I can you can only keep mascara for three months. So I much prefer having smaller sizes. I don't, don't feel as guilty about throwing it away after three months um, with a little sample size than I do with full size. So, yeah. um, they also came with the Clinique Chubby Stick in 04 Mega Watermelon. These are a moisturizing lip balm. And so this is what mega watermelon looks like a very peachy color really pretty as a moisturizer or like a not a moisturizer but like a the balm 
Um, and then this is the Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Balm in 07 Super Strawberry. So a nice, really light, pinky one. So there's that. The strawberry one is the other one, and the orange one is the mango, uh, melon one. So those are still, like, a decent size of... Um, you can get that much, which I think is still pretty good. Um, a pretty good size there for these chubby sticks. I feel like that's a lot of packaging for the amount of um, lip balm you get, but maybe you get more with a full size. Who knows? Um, then it also came with this little package here, um, which I am very excited about these ones. So there are four of these, and there are two of the exact same one. So again, I'm going to put give um, one to my friend which is in the punch pop one. This is mine, so I won't, I'll swatch it because I won't swatch hers because that's very rude of me. But it's um, this very pretty pinky color. Very gorgeous. I thought it was a red. It looked red almost in the other day in the light when I was looking at it. It's a very pretty pink color. And then this one is plum pop. And plum pop, I wore this the other day and Oh my god, this may be the lipstick color that I have been hunting for four months. I am very excited about this. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So I'm keeping both of the Punch Pop ones because I love the color so much. Plum Pop ones because I love the color so much. Um, and I just like the cool design. They're different than the other two that I got. Although I don't know why they gave, like, why it came with both the same color, but it did. Um, so I am very excited about all those. I was very excited when she gave it to me. And I really love these little bags um, to put makeup in or just to keep in my purse, too, as a makeup bag or whatever kind of thing I need them for. And the last thing I bought, or I have two more things, both I got from Amazon. And I picked up this Tada Zap. Um, this is a blue light acne treatment spot thing that you put this on, you turn on the light, and then you put it on your face um, where you have a blemish, and then it lights up for two minutes, and then you move on to the next section of your face, which is supposed to help kill acne-causing bacteria. Just trying to make sure I'm still recording. Acne bacteria on your face. Um, so, yeah, I've only used this once so far. But the other thing I don't like about this is how small of a size it is and that you only get a thousand uses before you throw it away. Mind you, it is only $30 and I feel like a thousand uses probably does go a long way. But you have to do like such little sections of your face and I have a lot of acne everywhere all over my cheeks and stuff so it takes me a while to do like a little and you're supposed to do it two to three times a day for it to supposed to help work. Um, so there's a little bit downside to this. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bigger so I cover a little bit more areas of my face, but I'm still really excited to use it. And you're not supposed to go over the same spot twice within your one session, but I do like that after two minute turn, it turns off so you know to like move it to a different spot. And then the next thing I got is this Marcio Bands SK Skincare Drying Lotion which this is supposed to be, I think, a dupe for the Kate Somerville Eradicate. This one was $20, the Eradicate is $32, I believe, Canadian. And um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this um, Marcio Blanquette, this one, um, because you get a lot more product in the Eradicate one than you do in this one of the pink stuff. You get a lot more of the alcohol liquid, I feel like, in this one. But um, for the pink stuff, you get a lot more in the Eradicate one. And I'd rather pay, you know, $10 more for more product than paying, um, basically, for the shipping as well. It probably adds up roughly around the same price um, for this guy. And I, the Eradicate one, I get more in, so I'd rather use that one over this. But I will definitely do a review and um, a comparison of these two, like the Eradicate and this one. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm sorry it was long and I have a lot of hauls coming up recently, but I've been 
very bad and been on like shopping and I didn't buy all this stuff in one day and some of it was given to me and so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if there's anything you want to see a review of um the stuff just leave me down let me know in the comments down below um so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later goodbye meta butterflies bye